All right, FAQ number 12 this is another one that the Catholics like to use. They like to say, where was your beliefs? Where were Bible-believing Christians like you uh, before the Reformation, you know, before Roman Catholicism? You know, do we predate Roman Catholicism as Bible-believing Christians? Uh, well, let me answer that with a question. Um, what am I considered right now by Roman Catholics? The official system of Roman Catholicism, if they were to categorize me and my brothers and sisters in Christ, that believe like I do, that believe the King James Bible, and we hold to this alone as our standard for all matters of faith and practice, what are we labeled as by the modern Catholic Church of today? We are called heretics. You know what uh, Christians were called back in the Reformation years that uh, dared to question things like uh, the Eucharist or, or other uh, penance and things like this, other these other false teachings of Catholicism. You know what they were called back then? They were called heretics, tried as heretics, and burned as heretics, or tortured and then burned, you know, a lot of times. Um, so what would the early Christians have been called? First Church of Antioch that survived up until the time of the Roman Catholics and then they, you know, all became Catholics or something? No, we've always been called heretics. So if you want to know what the name of my church has been down through the centuries and going back before Catholicism, um, we're just called heretics by the Catholics. And uh, the reason we don't have a lot of writings and a lot of books and things like this in print is because they get burned. The Catholics are a military superpower. The Roman, uh, same Roman system that crucified Jesus Christ because of the Jews leading them to do that you know, with Pontius Pilate and everything else there. That same Roman system that held the Jews under their power and it was ended up, you know, with Nero and things killing Christians, they just morphed and became Roman Catholicism, you know, used a Greek pagan term, which is, you know, the term Catholic, meaning universal. It was around before Jesus Christ even showed up on the earth, used by pagan philosophers. They took the term Catholic and combined it with Roman and there you have the church, you know, the holy church that Jesus founded. No, it was not. No, it was not. And you can look at the scripture and you can see the teachings of Catholicism don't line up with the Bible. And they know that. That's why they'll talk about the you know, traditions of the elders and the church fathers and all this other stuff. You know, they have to add a whole bunch of stuff to scripture to prove their system. See? But, you know, you look at, the, you look at any kind of a, a, a work on early church or early groups of Christians or early, just type in early heretical groups that predate Catholicism and you'll see all kinds of groups, the Montanists, the Donatists, the Paulicians. They'll say that the uh, Waldensians, you know, of, of northern Italy, that they only came out in the 12th century, which is nonsense. There are books I have. I have a book here. Uh, I'm not even sure where it is right now. But it's a book on the Waldensians and it goes back, they go back to the first century. Okay, and the Catholics are the ones that are constantly coming out and saying, oh no, you know, it was Peter Waldo in the 12th century that founded the Waldensians. Absolutely nonsense. Absolutely nonsense. And, you know, they'll, they'll also come out with things and they'll, they'll try to say that the early Christian groups were Gnostics, that they were heretics, you know. And they'll say they believe all kinds of weird stuff, just like Catholics do with me today. They lie about Bible believers today and they say we believe all kinds of things that we don't believe. They try to twist it and, and make it look like we're not, you know, in line with Scripture. It's the same thing. So, again, you know, th this thing of, of we can trace ourselves back, you know, the Catholics, you know, the Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic Church can trace itself back. Uh, well, yeah, sure you can. You can trace yourself back to Rome, you know, and which you don't have a... Uh, you know, Peter, they say Peter was the first pope and stuff. Well, why don't you show me a verse of scripture that says he was ever in Rome? Okay. Oh, we found some bones there, and it's, it's obviously St. Peter's bones. <laughs> sure, right. You know, and if they were the true, one true church, they'd stick by the Bible, but they don't. Uh, Roman Catholicism uh, does actually, it's kind of funny because I like to write this to Catholics. Um, they say that Roman, you know, we predate your system. And I say, well, I can do even better than that for you. Um, Roman Catholicism predates Christianity. Roman Catholicism goes back to ancient Babylon. 
So you go way back before Jesus Christ even showed up on the earth. You know, <laughs> that's why they're called Mystery Babylon in Revelation chapter 17. So again, this, you know, and you can do a huge study on this thing. And, you know, I just need to get this, this done, this FAQ thing done. Uh, you know, what was my church name before the Roman Catholics came out? Same thing we're called today, heretics. First church of heretics, you know, or whatever. <laughs> according to the way Catholics say it. So, it just, it's a shame that, uh, and again, you know, let me, let me just kick another little thing here. And that is this, this system of, you know, you can see the Catholic hand um, behind different philosophies out there. They will say, you know, that we need to find all this antiquity that goes way back and way back and way back. It's not enough to just look in Scripture and prove it from Scripture. You know, um, it's who taught, what were people teaching in the early, you know, with the church fathers and things like this. That's Catholic. You know, where was your church in the early parts and stuff like that? Well, you guys were killing us like you've always done. You know, of course there's, you know, and who's writing the history books? I mean, who's writing the histories about these early heretics? The Catholics. You know, where was the pre-trib rapture before 1830? Well, it's there, but most of the people, most of the people that believed in it, you were killing and murdering their Roman Catholics, you know? So, so don't, again, you know, there's so many things. These FAQ videos are mainly for new Christians that are out there, and you hear these, these attacks on Bible-believing positions, you know, and they put these doubts into your mind. I'm trying to get these doubts eradicated from your mind, okay? There's no basis in these doubts, all right? Bible-believing Christians have always existed. And you, the reason you can know that is because we have a Bible that goes back. The manuscripts go back. Then most of our manuscripts, you know, are older in turn, or, or newer, I should say. Because, why? Because Christians use, you know, manuscripts and things. So a lot of our, you know, the majority of the received text manuscripts are newer uh, in, in terms of their date. But that's because we're using them. You know, the Vaticanus and Sinaiticus are, well... I can't say so much for Sinaiticus. There's questionable things there but about the history of it. But Vaticanus is very old because nobody used it. It's junk. And the Catholics take it and they put it in their you know, library at the Vatican. Nobody's allowed to look at it but them. You know, and we're supposed to trust Bibles that come from them. NIV, New American Standard, ESV, whatever. See, the Catholics are the ones that are trying to always take you back and say, can you prove it? Can you prove it from the past? I can prove it from the Bible that I have today, you know. And by the way, there are still ancient manuscripts that are older than Vaticanus and Sinaiticus that do have received text readings. But they don't want to talk to, to you about that. So, but that's going to be it for this FAQ. Um, this is all I have right now on my list here. If you can think of some more ones that you'd like to have answers to, uh, again, I'm just, I'm doing these quick. You can get into this debate really, really deep. But uh, if there's some other FAQs that you have, write them down in the comments. Let me know through private message or whatever, and I'll try to get around to them. So that's it. Thank you for watching.